بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم عمران محبوب اینڈ یو آر واچنگ یوٹیوب چینل پروفیشنل ایکسل ٹرینر ان ایگزامپل ون ایکول سائن ایکورنٹ اوپن پیرنتھیسز ایشو کاما فرسٹ انٹرسٹ ڈیٹ کاما سیٹلمنٹ ڈیٹ کاما کوپن ریٹ کاما پار ویلیو کاما ہیر وی ہیو این آپشن ٹو سلیکٹ ویدر وی فائنڈ آؤٹ دی انٹرسٹ ریٹ اینولی سیمی اینولی اور کوارٹرلی آئی ول سی سیمی اینولی کاما ناؤ we have to given basis we have five options like i would like to give number three because i want to give actual number of days per month and 365 days for a year so i enter number three close parenthesis enter and we find out the accrued interest rate for a security with periodic interest now in example 2 equal sign accurate open parenthesis now here if we want to give any other issue date we can directly enter into this formula by using date function date open parenthesis year comma month comma date close parenthesis comma the rest of the values will be the same close parenthesis and enter so we have the new value of accrued interest similarly in example 3 we can again change the date of issue I will copy this formula to the next column and paste here instead of entering whole formula again I will just edit the current formula here I can change the date we have the date 5th of March I can change it to 5th of April sorry 4 and enter so the new value of periodic interest is here this is quite simple and easy calculate the price function we have a settlement date of 15th january 2010 the maturity date is 30th june 2018 the coupon rate is 5.75 percent the yield is 6.50 percent the redemption value per 100 dollar face value frequency is 2 because we want to calculate is semi annually and the basis is 0 means 360 days per year let's put the formula equals price open parenthesis settlement date comma maturity date comma coupon rate comma yield comma redemption comma frequency and last basis close parenthesis enter and we found the result of the given here we have for example scenario the nominal interest rate in first two example is the same whereas the number of compounding periods per year is different and in example 3 and 4 the nominal interest rate is different and the number of compounding period per year is the same let's apply the function in example 1 equal sign effect open parenthesis select the nominal interest rate comma select the compounding period per year close parenthesis and enter so here we have the 
effective interest rate against the given terms. To apply the function in rest of three examples, I will just copy the formula from example 1 and simply paste into the other three examples. This was quite simple and easy to extract the effective rate under different given scenarios. Here we have a scenario. The settlement date is 15th February. The maturity date is 15th May 2008. The investment amount is $1 million and the discount rate is 5.75%. Basis is considered as 2. It means the formula will count actual days in a month and 360 days for a year. Let's put the formula into formula cell equal to received open parenthesis settlement date comma maturity date comma investment comma discount rate comma basis close parenthesis and enter the total amount to be received as maturity is calculated. Here we have the data includes initial cost of $1 million, the solvent value is $1 lakh dollar and the lifetime of asset is 5 years. Now it is required to calculate depreciation for each year by using db function equal sign db open parenthesis initial cost comma solvent value comma lifetime of asset comma here we have to enter the period as we assume that the lifetime of asset is 5 years so this is the first year we will enter period as 1 there is no need to enter month because we are assuming that we are calculating the depreciation for the whole year close parenthesis enter here we have the depreciation for the first year repeating the same function in all 5 years the only difference will be the period. Let's see in second year DB open parenthesis initial cost followed value lifetime. This is the second year, so the period will be given as two. Close enter. The same process will be repeated for the following three years. I repeat the same formula for the uh, rest of the three years and here we have the total depreciation for the uh, five years.